Hi y'all, it's me Jacqueline. And uh, I haven't had any updates in a while for you guys. I've had so much going on. Uh, the guppy had, I put the last of her recent bunch in here and she had 43 total. I was like, oh lord. <laughs> so, I put them in here with these guys. They're a month old. I don't know if you can see them. So I have over 80 guppy fry. Well, no, it's a little less than that because I have sold quite a few on eBay. But it should be roughly around like 60 guppy fry left in here. Counting the 40 that I just put in there. But y'all can see the coloring coming in on these little guys. They're, they're coloring up really nicely. <clears throat> and uh, that's an update on the little guppy fry. My auto cats. They're doing good. I did a water change. I'm not sure what all of this is. It's on the inside. But I wiped it down with my uh, filter floss that I use, or the polyfill that I use to wipe down stuff. Not sure what's going on there. But the Auto Cats, they've been doing great. Water temperatures, you know, the weather here has dropped tremendously down into like the upper 30s. And to me, that is freaking cold for Texas, anyway. <clears throat> so, I trimmed my Anubis. I'm sorry, not my Anubis. My Amazon sword. I, I did have some leaves that were quite holy from the angelfish pecking on them and all that fun stuff. So, I took off those leaves. And I bought some... Crypto, Crypt Windy Greens. I've got quite a few of those planted through here. I bought five of them, but they sent a whole bunch. So what I did was I split them off. Because you can do that with these roots. Or at least I did anyway. I split them off. Got them planted. So I've got them all throughout this tank. There's my other Amazon sword. These little guys have really come on great. I have a previous video of when I first bought them. I think they had like six leaves and maybe 12 leaves. I don't even know how many leaves they've got now, but they've got a bunch. And then I bought this off of eBay. The Ro Rotelli... I can't even remember, but it's a repin. And I'm going to have some CO2 put in here. So that way it turns them kind of red. They say that CO2 helps with them turning red. I don't mind them being green. <clears throat> Sorry guys, with the weather drop, my voice is kind of... Uh... So anyway, I love these. And I mean, they have grown. They're just repins. So that's where... You take your scissors and you cut that top part off and plant it in the bottom. But I want to show you all something. Y'all see that little green spot right there in the middle of the screen there? That is growing out from like their roots. Their roots, they put out roots amazingly fast. But that little dude right there... They're just popping up all over the place. I got one right there as well. But you can see, I mean, that's shooting off from their roots. So, that will fill in that space. I kind of want it to look like a bush eventually. I'm in no hurry because I really like how it looks right now. So, I mean, I'm not grabbing. But once these get a little taller, I'm going to snip them and plant them down here and kind of fill in that space. Um, my auto cats, they're doing good. When the weather dropped, I wasn't here. 
to turn the heat on in the house. So, unfortunately, I did lose one AutoCAT. And that's just because the water dropped way down into the 70s. And AutoCATs, they like their water warm. So, I, unfortunately, I lost one of my little AutoCATs. But, everybody else seems to be doing fine. They're all actively swimming and just having a good old time and eating. They like to eat. Pretty babies. I have one in here that's really a deep, deep blue. I wish I could find it. But he really stands out. I'm pretty sure it's a male. But he stands out from the crowd now. I'm like, he is a dark, dark blue. And whenever I sell these, I, like if I'm selling ones that are a month old or three weeks old, I go by their size. Because I know these right here are the bigger ones. They're a month old. They're four weeks old. And you see, like, right there is the littler ones. That one right there, they're two weeks old. So they're not quite ready to be sold. But these guys here, they're ready. And I've got them up on eBay. You should be able to just type in blue Moscow guppies. I got them under blue slash purple Moscow guppies. But I really enjoy raising these little things. They're just so sweet. And they're that real pretty blue. Well, I'm not going to be able to find him. He's that real pretty dark, dark blue. And I'm just, I can't, well, that might be him way back there, but. I mean, he is a dark blue for a, for a month old. I just fed. So, you know, they're up there. They're still eating. They're munching away. They just having a good time being fish. So, anyway, back to the... I wasn't here to turn my heat on out, out here in the house. In the living room. And, and so... It got quite chilly outside of their tank, so it made their water drop. And that's really a shame, because I really enjoy these little auto cats. They are just, they're great at keeping this tank clean from algae. I did notice I'm having the um, cytobacterial bloom or whatever. It's called the blue-green algae. It's not really an algae, but it's not really a bacteria. It's kind of both, if that makes sense. I don't know if y'all can see it, but... Yep, there it is. I've done water changes and all that fun stuff, but from my understanding, it's not harmful. But uh, I'll probably be scooping all of them out. I don't know, because they need that beneficial bacteria. I'll probably just add an air stone and do a lot more water changes. I've been doing water changes every four days. And my nitrates and nitrite levels, you know, keeping them down in zeros. Ammonia down at, you know, past the 0 0.02. So, I mean, all of their levels are great. I just don't know why this decided to flare up. I'm not sure. But it's not harmful. So, that's a huge plus. Because, I, you know, I like for my fish to have the best parameters. And, you know, just a healthy environment for them. This tank looks totally weird after trimming my Amazon sword because it was way up there tall. And now it's like back down here short. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I wanted to try and keep this video short for you guys. I'm sorry it's already like at the 10 minute mark. But uh, 
yeah, um, I hope that was kind of informative for you guys. And uh, leave me a comment, or you can subscribe or not. Just enjoy the videos. And I'll be updating later. Bye, y'all.